going on? It's your man, Patrick Michael Strange. This is the NRW, where we give you the NEW. And yes, I have with me, as you see to my right, Glenn Lawrence McDonald, a.k.a. the funny yogi, yogi yes. <laughs> a.k.a. <laughs> Guinea Mac, a.k.a. Level Up Comedy, a.k.a. Uh, Philly uh, was your champion. Hey, uh, now yeah. they're no longer champions. Hey, we're always champions in the heart. <laughs> <laughs> but what's going on, man? Good, going on? Brother, man, it's a Sunday, man. It's weird. We're not doing it on our regular it Tuesday. Is. But we wanted to get it ready for y'all for this week because we have a lot of stuff going on this week. Yeah, easy like Sunday morning and we are in the house. I'm just going to point it out. <laughs> I am on your left. You got the left. But we're gonna re we can reverse it later. So flip it and we're gonna flip oh, yeah, it and reverse it, and then we'll flip it and reverse. I don't know my sides. No, that's cool. I'm just for the viewers. Yes. So if they see they're like, it, the? they're like, "What's going on? Everything's weird. He's on the right, but on the left, this is upside down. Are they tethered? What's happening? Maybe, maybe I am my doppelganger. Yeah, dude. Maybe you're not locked time in the real. Package. Exactly. Maybe I got choked out. I'm in the yeah, basement. and I had to learn how to speak, and now I'm training the people to <laughs> hold hands across America. Was that not a great movie? I just gotta say, if you haven't seen <laughs> us yet. Go check out us, man. Jordan Peele is the new mind of cinema. He's yes. like just it ain't. And I was gonna say whore, but he's not just whore. He can do. He's he's made known, gotten known from uh, Get Out right. and whore and uh, us. But he was killing on Key and Peele. Key and Peele's he had great the too. the Kinu film that I thought was kind of cute. You know, I thought it was very cat good. Thing. Yeah, the little cat you know, that was fun. Had a little action mix in there. Mixing action and and, uh, and comedy. Key, Key and Bill always had some like suit, like outlandish stuff. It was really funny. Yeah. But then also there was like some things that you're like, damn, that was kind of creepy. Hell yeah. Or whatever. So he he just has the whole range of uh, under his tool belt right there. And the word I've heard from the CBS All Access show he's doing the reboot of the Twilight Zone. He's dipping his hand into sci-fi. Killing the game, bro. This man, bro, you're sleeping on Jordan Peele if you're not checking him out. He's inspired stuff. me. He's yeah, inspired yeah. me. I just released a short film, um, and it, like I felt very much inspired by okay. him. Like, all right, I want to, I want to aspire to that. So Why don't we'll you tell see. everybody yeah. where they can check that out, man? Let's show love, man. Yeah, um, it's it's actually on YouTube right now. If you uh, Google in again, the I'm zone, it on the screen short. Go film, ahead, and give us you the, know, check that the out. URL. But it's gonna do the uh, festival route. Okay. So again, the zone short film right okay. now. And if we get more people in there, uh, we could maybe uh, make that the URL. Show my love to my boy, man, Glenn hey, Lewis. We got way off track. Hey, we I just wanted to show up, man, and, and I loved us. <laughs> so, all right, you know how we do. I love us too. <laughs> Uh, let's tell them what they got coming out uh, this week, brother. Cool. So um, we have some DVDs coming out. Uh, first of all, a movie that I really, really enjoyed, Bumblebee. There's yes. A review up there. I think we both did a review on that. There's multiple did. reviews on yeah. that. That's how much we liked the the movie. It was but, outstanding. Yeah, it has uh, Haley Stanfield. I love her back from her True Grit days. Oh yeah, that movie was She's, amazing. Yeah, from a young actress, and now. apparently she had like a number one song for like a oh yeah for, for a while. She's got some pipes. Uh, being that I have a little girl, and, right? And gonna and not just I'm not just gonna say that little girls like it too. I heard yeah. it too. Yeah. And you know I was like you okay. don't have to caveat it. You know, I, you know, I'm just I, saying, I get down. <laughs> I was gentle with it. She yeah. got she got some she got some looks on her. Um, but Travis Knight was directing this one. Uh, no Michael Bay this time, and it did have a little bit more heart into it. Yeah, so. he did have some production side of it. He helped produce it. A little yeah, bit. but I, I think he needed to step away. So you could see some stamp of him, but to me, best Transformers movie we've gotten thus far. I think I so think past his films. I think you're right. There's some holes in it, uh, only because we've seen all those other Transformers films. Okay, it's like wait, where did this piece in? Because it's really not a reboot so much as a kind of like a counter to store it's a, it's okay. a weird because they have a lot of the same kind of mythos of the of the old transformers uh -huh. but then it's just a totally different angle on it so i don't know if it was okay if it was still part of the same universe yeah, yeah. or what I, I don't know all i know is i like where they're heading this is just phenomenal yeah. to me yeah so yeah. I, I like where they're heading it's out on dvd and blu-ray so go check that out that's super awesome um also we got the mule I wanted to see that film. I wanted to see we did a too. trailer reaction to that. That's on the channel. As oh, well. really? oh, we man. did. We did. Yeah, I miss. I miss. Who, I didn't have time one? to see that. I don't remember. Who, who was that movie with? <laughs> But uh, I can't wait to see this one. Yeah, I'm going to check it out. Clint Eastwood directs it again. He's a Korean war veteran. Uh, he comes back home and he's trying to make do for his family. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when you're trying to make do for your family, sometimes you got to push that weight. <laughs> so if you ever want to see Clint Eastwood push that weight, yes, yes, um, yes. go check out the meal. Next thing we have, uh, Vice. 
Another good Vice, one. Um, kind of came out of nowhere. I was yeah, surprised. Yeah. Uh, and seeing Christian Bale transform and into completely Dick transform Cheney. himself. Wow. I yeah. mean, I listen. It was great casting. I, I 100% could see why he was nominated for um, an Oscar. Yes. Because um, that, that was just an amazing performance. Um, so that's cool. That's out there. It's diving back into the Bush years, the Bush era, uh, really seeing uh, what got us into that whole. Yeah, thing. Yeah, uh, we're not going to get too political <laughs> here, but anyways, it was a tumultuous time. People for get the a little country. upset when we get a little too. Political. Yeah, but uh, it was a tumultuous time for the country. But yeah. uh, we're diving back into that with Vice. And the last thing in DVDs, uh, Nancy Drew and the Hidden Staircase. My daughter is so excited for this one. She's read the books, and uh, yeah, just a classic character. Uh, being brought to the big screen, uh, definitely wanted. I know she's dying to check it out. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of intrigued. It's uh, kind of cute. Listen, I used to read those books like uh, uh, the, Hardy Nancy, Boys. the Hardy Boys, yeah. Nancy Drew, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So the the child, mur- the teen uh, murder mysteries were always cool to me. So I'm kind of interested to see uh, what Nancy Drew in the Head and Staircase has to offer. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> what so, you got? A lot of good stuff coming out. Um, but if you want to head out to the theater, um, we already did a, a huge review on this film. <laughs> Um, I know he can't talk enough about it, um, so I won't go too much into it, but Shazam, say the word, y'all. Shazam, uh, my man Zach Levi bringing uh, the story of Billy Batson, the, the young orphan who gets uh, powers from the wizard Shazam mm-hmm. and then goes against Dr. Savannah and all of that. Uh, it's a great film. You're going to want to check it out. It's going to be so amazing. Big. It's going to be huge, y'all. I'm telling you, this probably puts DC on the map. That's why I'm wearing a Justice League shirt today. Is again DC is just finally like, oh, stepping up. He's not. He's not. He's, oh. he's not on it. He's on the back. You can't. See yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's we'll say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's on the back. But he should. He should. Because really, Justice League, uh, by comparison in the DC canon of the film so far, down, down there. Shazam, way up. Sh- here. Shazam is. I for me, I think it was. It's one of the best comic book movies out there, even with the Marvel stuff. And I, you know, I love the Marvel stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it's one of the best comic book movies out there. Um, and it's fun. It was really fun. And yeah. it had heart. So yes. anytime a movie brings moves me to um, a thug tears, I think... <laughs> yeah, it pulls our thug tears out. You man. know what I mean? I think, I think it has a chance to be one of the best comic book movies out there. But it, it was really fun. You can go check it out. Definitely. So... Cop that you're gonna want to check and watch it out. our review. Watch our review. Yeah, we talked all about it. Yeah, what'd you say? Because spoilers are all throughout that. We don't want to spoil yeah. it for you. Go see the film and then check out our review. Yeah. Uh, another film I'm really excited to see. Um, I don't recall. Well, I did see bits and pieces of it of the original the way original? back when. <gasps> um, I'm was going to. I don't remember it being that much. I just I don't think I think something was going on. Uh-huh. I don't know. Well, tell me what it is. What but it Pet <laughs> Cemetery, y'all. My man <laughs> Stephen King. Uh, about like this little cemetery in Maine where people, local community kind of bury their pets. But apparently, not only is it a place where these local people bury their pets, back in the day, like Native Americans, it was like uh, spiritual ground yeah. and stuff happens there. So apparently when you bury stuff there, they come back. So these people were getting their pets back, but they weren't the same. But what happens they if, weren't you, the same. Your, <laughs> what happens if uh, you get so distraught and your daughter dies? And you know that this ground is mythical. Yeah. You go bury your daughter there. Yeah. And she doesn't dun, come back dun, with the dun. same. Yeah. I don't know. Super creepy, super scary. Um, this reboot looks amazing. We've got John Lithgow in there, Jason Clark, uh, Amy Simetz. Uh, it's directed by Kevin Colch. And it just looks awesome. Um, get ready if you want to be scared, because uh, you're gonna you're gonna really enjoy it. There's some jumps, uh we call Jump these? scares. Jump in scares. There? When I was watching the trailer in the theater uh-huh. uh recently. I had this one person to the side. It was hilarious, man. They were just like, <laughs> oh my gosh. It was in the good. trailer? How in many during times? the trailer. I probably about three, four times. Wow. Man. She, was, she was getting lit. Okay. I'm like, I need to see this movie with you because you just make it. Is, would you say that's part of the experience of watching horror films? I think so. Like, watching people get like other like people that. getting scared. Although I don't go to horror films that often <laughs> because I get creeped out. Yeah. But um, it is kind of cool, cool seeing other people getting scared, especially when you. No, yeah, that's something scary is about to happen. It's like, oh, are they gonna get scared? Oh, are they gonna get scared? Um, I don't like being the one who gets scared. I'm like, no, no, I always get upset. Like, no, you got that scare out of me. Ah. Yeah, so um, the new reboot is out this week. I'm super excited to check that one out. But also, if you don't have a chance, go check out the original, the original uh, one, uh, as well as out in your DVD digital copy. All right, next up, we have the best of enemies. It is based on a true story. It's about the civil rights activist Ann Atwater who faces off against C.P. Ellis, exalted cyclops of the KKK 
1971 Durham, North Carolina over the issue of school integration. Well, this is an exalted cyclops. I know, that was weird. What? But it stars Sam Rockwell and Taraji P. Henson. Very intrigued on this one. Uh, you know, the flip on the best of friends, the best of enemies. Yeah. True story. Taraji can do pretty much anything. Uh, I loved her in uh, as Cookie on Empire. I, know, right? I, I loved her in Hidden Figures. Uh, she's been cl- she's played classic characters throughout time. Just, Most recently, did What Women Want. So she went from comedy to now another throwback uh, historical. I, piece. I'm excited to see her in the What Women Want because I want to see Taraji happy. Like she's yeah. always in these movies. And she's like, God damn it, <laughs> I'm gonna take you out. Of. You know what I mean? Like when she has to get that deep, dark yeah. gravitas that all uh, black women have. Um, I, I just want to I want to see her something happen like hey Taraji you know, so you rather like, see women want than best yeah, of them yeah exactly <laughs> but also I don't know I mean you know oh it's uh, you know racism oh there's friends though but well, I'm reminding us again go, that yeah those stories need to be told but I feel like there's a yeah. lot of those stories even like with you know like Green Book and everything it's like oh it's okay it's like no that, sometimes we need to see like the real but yeah and that's what that I'm nice. curious about this the problem with Green Book it was a, a white writer telling. So, well, supposedly it was mm-hmm. telling a black story, but really the family didn't have no inference into the story or right. anything like that. Yeah. So it was just kind of a one-sided perspective yeah. and also based on some untruths. Wait, who? This, who? I'm curious who wrote this. Um, it's not saying on my sheet, but it's based on a true story. Did what sides were, were, were all sides represented yeah, to tell right. this story? And who wanted to like tell the story and like bring it together? Cause that's mm-hmm. a very important factor. You know yeah. what I mean? Like you want to see. Um, that the story is being told in a light that, hey, we can all get together yeah. and we can uh, come together and not in a, oh, it's not that bad to be a grand yeah. cyclops or exalted <laughs> dragon from the... Is, yeah. Do they play D&D a lot? I they know, think, man. Is that what it is? I've never knew the titles of KKK members, but apparently so an exalted cyclops is like Fun. right there with the, your grandmaster. Fun fact, uh, after you know Trump was elected, uh, the sales of 20-sided dice went up because they seemingly all play D&D. Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> the KKK plays D&D. They exalted Cyclops, Grand you Dragon. Had me, you had me. I wouldn't be surprised though. I would not be surprised. Hey, you know, next thing <laughs> you know there's going to be a Demogorgon. They're rolling 20 wow. on this <laughs> So, Best of Enemies. Um, I'll probably check it out. I probably won't see it in theaters, but that's something I'll probably check out when it comes out on Blu-ray DVD. All right, yeah, cool. but there we go. So to me, those are your top three films: Shazam, Pet Cemetery, Pet Cemetery, and The Best of Enemies. But oh, we also cool. have a Check slew of other films that that are coming to theaters. We have High Life. High Life. It's a adventure drama horror mystery mm. uh, starring Robert Pattinson from Twilight, mm. as well as oh Julia Binoche and Andre Benjamin. Oh, what? what? Andre 3000? Yes, Andre 3000 is back in the screen. What is this about? Yeah, a father and his daughter struggle to survive in deep space where they live in isolation. Andre 3000, he said that he was going to talk about space travel and mind javelin. Wow. Okay. What Let's find out what? we got Andre. Okay, space. Andre. So, okay, High Life is out. Yeah. Uh, we have a, we got Amazing here. Grace. It's a documentary about Aretha Franklin. Uh, there was some controversy about this because apparently... I don't know if Aretha didn't want it out or the yeah. or our family wanted this film to come out, but it's coming out. Uh, Amazing Grace, uh, full documentary films way back from oh, now. Wow. That was it's actually completed back in 1972, but they're just now releasing it. So because yeah, cool. I think there was some controversy about getting it released. I love Aretha Franklin. It might be interesting to see. Uh, we also have Peterloo. It's a drama about the Peterloo massacre where British forces attacked a peaceful pro democracy rally in Manchester. Uh, So for you history buffs, you may want to check that out. We have Teen Spirit. It's another drama about Violet is a shy teenager who dreams of escaping her small town and pursuing her passion to sing. It stars Elle Fanning. So check that one out. Teen Spirit. Oh, okay. We have The Public. It's a drama uh, starring uh, Jenna Malone, Taylor Schilling, and Christian Slater. We have Billboard. Another drama. All these dramatic emo films uh, starring Eric Roberts, Heather Matsuzato, Darling Kate, Leo Fitzpatrick. We have Suburban Birds, another drama uh, by uh, starring Zhejiang Gong, Lu Wang, and Mason Lee. Mm. And we have Storm Boy starring Jai Courtney, Jeffrey Rush, and David Goldpill. Those are your films. Tons of films coming out this week. Yeah. More than Lots we usually have. Yeah. Uh, so they're just rolling them out there. So a lot of good things we'll for check you it out. Get to a theater. And uh, finally, we have one major event this weekend. If you're in St. Louis... The infamous Wizard World show is coming your way. Uh, Jason Momoa is going to be there. Sean Astin, Chris Catan, 
Uh, Daniel Cudmore. What's Chris Catan doing? All these now? people. What is, what is he doing? Chris Catan is being labeled as Saturday Night Live. Oh, okay. He's still really? pushing himself he hasn't been Saturday, on Saturday Night, Night Live in like 15 years. Yeah, Lou Frigno is incredible. Hulk's going to be there. So, oh, shit. That is, as a matter of fact, I think that was the last time Chris Catan did Saturday Night Live. Point, Lou when Frigno Lou Frigno was the Hulk. <laughs> Wow. Anyways, that's uh that's that's what's out this week. Any other news? What else? Uh, in news, uh, Endgame posters I think came out. Did yeah. you see those? I did. They were kind of cool. Kind of some black and white and some. Uh, but they still haven't color. dropped the tickets yet. That is true. However, I think by the time uh, this drops. Um, I'll have it out for this Wednesday. We're actually recording this Sunday. Mm-hmm. I think April 2nd, April 3rd, tickets come available. Oh, really? And uh, for those get attending our Cost Love at Avengers Endgame with Almo uh, at the end of the month, get your tickets and then come hang out with us. Wait, time out. When does, when does that happen? Tell, talk about that because I want to... Cost Love Avengers Endgame? Yeah. It's a... Uh, the 25th? We're doing... The day before? You know what? what? My dates are escaping me right now. Oh, no. But we're doing a special Thursday... Uh, events. Uh, generally, we do Thursdays and Saturdays, but because Awesome Con is that weekend of right, right, right. we're only going to be doing Thursday between 6 and 8, but at two different locations, the oh, cool. Alamo in Woodbridge and the Alamo in uh, Ashburn, one Loudon. You do have the dates. They're right here. They're all oh, there. You there know what? <laughs> Through the beauty of editing, it's right there on the screen. Right there. You didn't Look forget me. Just put it right there. <laughs> Thank Anyways, you. How about you? Anything yeah. else coming up the rest of the uh, Yeah, I'm, I'm heading out to, for a wedding. I'm going to be in New Orleans for a little bit. I'll okay. probably do a couple shows back down there. Nice. But then when I come back, Level DC up. Comedy Festival, Level Up Comedy, we're having our show at the Do Drop In, April 11th, so please come check that out. It's going to be hilarious. YouTube star Larry Starks is going to be there, wow. plus a smattering of other people. Uh, hilarious Omar um, is going to be out there. Of course, yours truly is going to be there. Elizabeth Danger Norman, wow. Ian Salyers. There, there's a lot. There's way too many people to name. Nice. I don't want to forget anybody, but... Um, nice. Uh, it's going to be... Are you going to come out? You should come nice. out. Nice. I'm going to try. It's on a Thursday, so it's a little bit different than our normal th- Friday show. But I think it's the same day as my Avengers Endgame, isn't it? No, it's the, the 11th. Thursday? No, it's the 11th. Oh, okay, so I might be able to. It's the 11th. Okay. It's like two weeks. Okay. Yeah, so. I, I think you might get me hey, right. now. Hey, you're right <laughs> here first. Anyway. Hey, man, this is super fun. Um, tell them how they can follow you and all that online. Uh, go ahead and check as out. As I make it appear on the screen. At level <laughs> up underscore comedy. You go check that out. Again, again, the zone. Short film, type that into your YouTube. You can go check that out. Um, that's about it. Cool, cool. Um, I am Patrick Strange at patrickstrange.com. Uh, you can also find me at Strange since 1977 because I've been strange that long. And also at Temple Far East. But as always, follow me and Glenn and the rest of the amazing squad of the NRW at the NRW and at New Release Wednesday. Yeah. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, do all that because that helps us give you these news and gets us into other cooler things to bring you more news. Because we do it for the people, we do it for the community, we do it for, we do it for y'all. You know what exactly. else we do? For, we do it for the nerds. Yes. Nerds rule the world. There we go. I, uh, out of here.